I'm Pat Forty, and this is First Down, and we're here to talk about Nebraska and Penn State. The Nittany Lions can't win the leaders' division, but they can help loosen the hammerlock. Nebraska may be starting to get on the legends' division if they can beat the Cornhuskers. Matchup of two dynamic quarterbacks having great years. Matt McGloin against Taylor Martinez. Can one of them get a leg up in the Offensive Player of the Year race in the Big Ten? I'm Antoine Rendell, and this is Second Down. Now, Wisconsin has given up 15 touchdown passes, and they are second most in the Big Ten. Now, Indiana University right now are averaging right up under 300 yards per game. So expect them to come out and throw the ball downfield with their 63% average that they're having right now. I expect the Hoosiers will come out and burn the Badgers. Hoosiers will win this game. I'm Russ Landry, and this is third down. Minnesota quarterback Marquise Gray is not good enough as a passer to play quarterback in the NFL, but NFL teams are very excited about possibly converting him to tight end or receiver because he's so big and athletic. And for Illinois, NFL teams love Akeem Spence, and they think that he can be an outstanding, penetrating defensive tackle in a 4-3 defensive scheme. Watch both of those players when Minnesota plays in Illinois this weekend. This is Teddy Greenstein from the Chicago Tribune, and this is fourth down. I'm examining the Northwestern Michigan game. Now, normally with Northwestern, you wonder, what's Kane Coulter going to do? Is he going to be the slot receiver or the quarterback? We know Kane's going to be under center. So now it turns to Michigan, and where is Devin Gardner going to be? If Denard Robinson is healthy, he's a receiver. If he's not, he's going to be under center, and that will be a preview of what the 2013 Michigan offense looks like. <laughs> 